Hi there, Doggy Dan here from the Online Dog Trainer video website. This is a very short video of one of my consultations where dear little Jezebel happened to bump into another dog and it was just an interesting situation where it could easily go pear-shaped. So here's a couple of pointers on how to make sure things always go smoothly. As you can see, he's a big, confident boy. He's keen to get there, but I've checked. Is he friendly? And the answer I've been given is yes. Um, Jezebel's tail's up high, his tail's wagging. I immediately make my line go loose. So I'm not adding any tension to that situation. And if the other lady could do the same, it would probably help. Because he's not trying to dominate and push uh, Jezebel over. He's just keen, friendly, enthusiastic. Her tail's gone under. She's not too sure. But the best thing to do here is not get involved. So that's why I've moved away. I'm looking at the grass. And again, my leash is still very loose. Because the worst thing you can do here is pull on the lead, speak to your dog, touch your dog, look at your dog. She's sort of frozen. But if he just leaves her alone and we stay out of it, she's going to come through this absolutely fine. As you're going to see in a second, what I actually do is I diffuse the situation by simply walking away. And that seems to settle them both. Because we've taken our energy away from the situation. They've met each other. They're quite happy. They're going to get on absolutely fine. Sometimes walking away is all that's needed to break the ice. No, that was really good. Training. Oh. Dog training. I wish I could get him trained. Train. Yeah, oh, very good. Good. oh, there you go. <laughs> He's yes, amazing. Yes. But um, yeah. the thing is, what you don't want to do is add pats, cuddles, and affection now. The last thing we want to do, you were asking before about when do we tell her she's a good girl. It's don't do it now. No. You okay. just because they're in the at the minute it's almost like they're trying to communicate. And this is where they're, they're communicating, they're still getting to know each other. It's like two dogs on their first date. The last thing you need when you're trying to date is a third person turning up. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Awkward. I mean these two are trying to say we could actually get on, we could be friends, yeah. Mm. But they don't need a third person, that just confuses things. And now that's her relaxing, you see her relaxing, that's good. She's wandered off. And really that's it, it's all done. And, and it was a case, as usual, of us staying out of it. For a complete solution to training your dog, stopping unwanted dog behaviors, and raising the perfect puppy, check out my video website with over 150 videos inside. It's called The Online Dog Trainer. And there you'll learn how to be the pack leader and how to set yourself up with a dog who understands you're in charge, you make the decisions, and then it shows you how to do the training as well. So you can have your dog around cats, little lambs, and basically have the dog of your dreams. I'm Doggy Dan, and this is a clip from the theonlinedogtrainer.com.